Some crazy shit went down last week, and I guarantee you missed it. Hey, I'm John B. I tell you the truth about mortgage and finance, and that's why you follow me. Let's start with an absolute shocker in the K. Schiller report. It showed that home prices, which have been falling consistently every single month since June, actually went up in February. Now, a 0.15% increase isn't very much, but could it signal a change in the market correction we've seen lately? On the financial side, we saw the GDP only went up by about 1%, which is about half as fast as expected. This slowdown was caused by the Fed's consistent rate increases over the last year. And this slowdown fear was confirmed by the Consumer Sentiment Report, which said Americans are bracing for more economic turmoil over the rest of the year. Despite all this, the Fed is expected to increase rates one more time by a quarter percent at their meeting this week. But the question is, how long are they expected to hold before they start dropping rates again? Oh, and the FHFA went off on misinformation fear mongers. Well, went off in like a really mortgage nerd way. Let me sum it up for you. Director Thompson essentially said that the recent mortgage fee changes were one, not recent, they were announced in January, two, were not a punishment to high credit borrowers, and three, were not a way to subsidize lower credit borrowers. In fact, she said the only LLPA fees that do anything like that are actually used to help lower income borrowers, not lower credit borrowers. Borrowers. And those fees are actually assessed to vacation and investment properties. What these recent changes actually do is align the fees with more accurate risk calculations, close discount loopholes for higher tier borrowers that weren't paying their fair share, and make Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac more financially sustainable so they don't have to rely on tax dollars as much anymore. Which all of us truth tellers have been saying for weeks, but who's counting? Finally, mortgage rates made a little bit of a comeback this week, settling just under 6.6%. This week we've got the Fed interest rate decision, unemployment, and consumer credit. So stay tuned, give me a follow, and I'll keep you posted.